Anne Frank. She was born on the 12th of June 1929 in Frankfurt, Germany, and she died in March 1945 at age 15 in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp, Nazi Germany. She's best known for writing a diary while hiding from the Nazis during World War II. Something about her family. Anne Frank was born in Frankfurt, Germany on the 12th of June 1929. Her father, Otto Frank, was a businessman, while her mother, Edith, stayed home taking care of Anne and her older sister, Margot. Anne was an outgoing and spirited child. She got into more trouble than her quiet and serious older sister. Anne was like her father, who liked to tell the girls stories and play games with them, while Margot was more like her shy mother. Growing up, Anne had lots of friends. Her family was Jewish and followed some of the Jewish holidays and customs. Anne liked reading and dreamed of being a writer someday. Ok, qua che cosa c'è? Alcuni aggettivi, outgoing, che vuol dire estroversa, invece quiet and serious, tranquilla, seria, e shy, timido, e un aggettivo importante, Jewish, Jewish, che vuol dire ebreo. Leaving Germany. In 1933, Adolf Hitler became the leader of Germany. He was the leader of the Nazi political party. Hitler did not like Jewish people. He blamed them for many of Germany's problems. Many Jewish people began to flee from, from Germany. Otto Frank and his family decided to leave too. In 1934, they moved to the city of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Anne was only four years old. She made new friends, she learned Dutch, and she went to school in a new country. And the family felt safe once again. In 1939, Germany invaded Poland and World War II began. In 1940, Germany invaded the Netherlands. The Franks did not have time to escape. Jews weren't allowed to own businesses, have jobs, go to the movies, or even sit on the benches at the park. Otto Frank turned his business over to some non-Jewish friends. In the midst of all this, the Franks tried to go on as normal. Anne had her 13th birthday. One of her presents was a red diary, which is how we know Anne's stories today. So thanks to the diary, now we know Anne's story. Things continued to get worse. The Germans began to require all Jewish people to wear yellow stars on their clothing. Some Jews were taken to concentration camps, a secret hideout. Allora, alcuni aggettivi blame, che vuol dire dar la colpa a, flee, che vuol dire fuggire, e move, sappiamo che vuol dire trasferirsi, e feel safe, questo aggettivo vuol dire sentirsi sicuri, quest'altro è molto importante, uh, weren't allowed, vuol dire non era permesso, a loro non era permesso avere i propri business, avere dei lavori, andare al cinema o sedersi anche sulle panchine, per cui Otto Frank aveva dovuto consegnare, dare proprio la sua azienda ad alcune persone non ebree, vedete la differenza tra Jewish che è l'aggettivo e Jews che è invece il sostantivo ebreo. In the midst Of all this, in the midst, vuol dire in mezzo a tutto questo, i Franks cercavano di comportarsi normalmente. E things continue to get worse, significa le cose continuarono ad andare peggio. The Germans began to require all Jewish people to wear yellow stars on their clothing. Require vuol dire iniziano, i tedeschi iniziarono a richiedere, ad esigere che tutte le persone ebree indossassero stelle gialle sul loro sui loro abiti. The hideout. Otto prepared a secret hideout next to his place of work. The door was hidden behind some bookshelves. The hideout was small. The first floor had a bathroom and a small kitchen. The second floor had two rooms, one for Anne and Margaret, and one for her parents. There was also an attic where they stored food and where Anne sometimes went to be alone. Anne's diary. Anne named her diary Kitty after a friend of hers. 
Each entry in her diary began Dear Kitty and wrote about all sorts of things. She didn't think others would be reading it. She wrote about her feelings, books she read and the people around her. From Anne's diary we find out just what it must have been like to live in hiding for years, fearing for her life. Qua abbiamo, allora questa parola attic, attic non vuol dire attico ma vuol dire soffitta e mh, altre parole eh, non dovrebbero essercene, ah each entry into a diary vuol dire ogni volta che scriveva a new entry è eh, un nuovo paragrafo, un nuovo capitolo. Life in hiding, the Franks covered all the windows with with thick curtains. During the day they had to be extra quiet. They whispered when they talked and went barefoot so they could walk softly. At night, when the people working in the business below went home, they could relax a bit, but they still had to be very careful. Soon more people moved in with the Franks. They needed a place to hide to. The Van Pels family joined just a week later. They had a 15-year-old boy named Peter. This was three more people in that cramped space. Then Mr. Pfeffer moved in. He ended up rooming with Anne and Margaret moved and sorry, he ended up rooming with Anne and Margaret moved to her parents' room. Anne and her family lived in this hideout for nearly two years. On August the fourth, nineteen forty four, the Germans stormed into the Franks' hideout. They took everyone captive and sent them to concentration camps. The men and women were separated. The girls were sent to a camp. Both Anne and her sister died of the disease typhus in March of 1945, only a month before Allied soldiers arrived at the camp after the war. The only family member to survive the camps was Anne's Frank, father, Otto Frank. He returned to Amsterdam and found Anne's diary. Her diary was published in 1947 under the name The Secret Annex. Later it was renamed Anne Frank, Diary of a Young Girl. It became a popular book read throughout the world. Ok, qua ragazzi c'è un errore. Guardiamo se lo trovate. Her parents' room. Cioè dovrebbe essere her parents, plurale, e poi l'apostrofo dietro. Cramped space vuol dire semplicemente uno spazio ammassato, dove tutti stavano ammassati. Altre parole, ok, it became a popular book read throughout the world, it means, uh, significa read all over the world, in all the world. Ok, interesting facts about Anne Frank. Anne and Margot called her father by his nickname Pim. The Holocaust caused the death of over 6 million Jewish people during World War II. Anne's diary was published in over 55, 55, not 65, 55 different languages I checked. You can visit the Frank's Hideaway, the secret annex in Amsterdam today. One of Anne's hobbies was to collect photos and postcards of movie stars.